church royals. Yeah. Before we begin service, can we just close our eyes and say a word of prayer to God? In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for being there for us. We pray as you're about to start. You start with us, be with us, teach us, and take charge of everything we're going to do today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the light of mine. worshiping God. Now it's time for nuggets. It's a brand new month and in this month of July we are taking a whole new topic of our nuggets and our topic is bathroom manners. Remember you are royalty. So number one don't keep the tap running. Number two, don't play in the bathroom. If the floor is wet, you can fall. And number three, brush your teeth and your thumb. And remember to clean the sink or where you brushed. Always clean your mess. And now number four, 
don't wait till you are badly pressed to go to the toilet or you will mess yourself up. And number five, always close the toothpaste and wash your toothbrush. Always wash your hands with water and soap after using the toilet. If there is no soap, tell your mom to always keep soap in the toilet. These nuggets are in the royal scroll. Be sure to go through them and practice them. Now go ahead and enjoy the rest of the service. Hello there, Royal. I am glad you're still here. Guess what? Get excited. It is time for the truth. Yes, it is time for God's word. And we know that God's word is the truth. I have some questions for you today. Are you ready? Yes? Okay. What do you do when things don't work out the way you want them to work out? What do you do when you experience a difficulty in school or a problem at home? What do you do when you fall ill or a loved one falls ill? Hmm. What do you do when you fail an exam after studying hard for it? What do you do when bad and evil things happen to you? Do you feel helpless or cry yourself sick? Hmm. Our topic today says, you can ride the storm. Yes, you can ride the storm. Life's issues and problems are like storms. A storm is a strong wind that blows at sea. Have you been in a boat at sea before? When the wind is gentle and the sea is calm, it is very enjoyable. But when a storm is blowing at sea, there is usually heavy rain, lightning, and even thunder. And the waves in the sea at such times continue to rise and behave like an angry person and continuously beat the boat as if it wants to tear it apart. And sometimes the storm and the waves can become so strong and wild that some boats actually tumble into the sea with all the people inside. And if this happens in the middle of a deep sea, that there are no life jackets and some persons in the boats cannot swim, they drown. Can you imagine that? Some life issues and problems are life-threatening too. At such times, what should you do? Our Bible story today is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. And it says, As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon, a fierce storm came up. 
High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence! Be still! Suddenly, the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. Amazing story. The Lord Jesus, who is the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, the one that created even the storm, rain, thunder and lightning, was in the boat. Yet the storms rose. That will tell you of a fact that problems and difficulties don't care whether you are a child. It does not care whether you are an obedient and respectful child of God. It does not care that you go to church every Sunday and give your offering. It can just come from anywhere. At one time, you are the darling in the home and at another time, everyone is upset with you. Maybe because of something you did wrong. How did the storm in this story stop? The Lord Jesus commanded it to stop and it obeyed and stopped. He said to it, Peace be still. And immediately there was calm and peace. What word? What power? The Lord Jesus showed in this story that no matter how life threatening and powerful a problem or difficulty is, it is not more powerful than the word of God. Do you wish like some that you lived in the time where the Lord Jesus was around in this world so that he can speak and command storms to stop for you? Well, I have good news for you. He loves you so much that he did not go to heaven with his word. And years before you and I were born, he made sure that his word is put together so that you can have it and use it. To have the word of God, the Bible alone will not do. Note that as long as the Lord himself, who had the word, was sleeping, the storm raged. But the moment he spoke the word of command and power, the storm obeyed and stopped. That tells us that you should learn to speak the word and not just have it. Child of God, you are not helpless. You have the Bible, the Word of God. In other words, the power to stop the storms that harass you is not far from you. It is in your hand today. It is in your phone. It is right by you. And that is why we say you can ride the storm and overcome it 
no matter how life-threatening it is. Now there are three truths from today's lesson. Truth number one. Problems and difficulties don't care whether you are a child or an obedient child of God for that matter. Truth number two. No matter how life-threatening and powerful a problem or difficulty is, it is not more powerful than the Word of God. And lastly, truth number three. The Lord Jesus did not go to heaven with his word of power. He made sure it is put together in a book, the Bible, for us to have and use. Now there are two lessons you must remember on today's story. Lesson number one. You need to know how to speak God's word to be able to ride any storm that you will face in life. Now I need you to personalize that and say it with me. I need to know how to speak God's word to be able to ride any storm that I will face in life. Awesome! Now lesson number two. Every time you spend reading God's word, you are equipping yourself to live a successful and victorious life. Say it with me as well. Every time I spend reading God's word, I am equipping myself to live a successful and victorious life. Well done, Royal. And now to our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, Everything in the scriptures is God's word. All of it is useful for teaching and helping people and for correcting them and showing them how to live. Now there is a song about today's memory verse. It will help you to memorize it. Listen and sing along. Everything in the scriptures is God's word. Everything, everything in the scriptures is God's word. You mean everything? All of it is useful for teaching and helping people and for correcting them and showing them how to live. Everything in the scriptures is God's word. Second Timothy 3.16 And now to our home play. What can you do from today to prepare yourself to ride the storms that you will face in life? I'm sure you had an exciting time in God's presence today. Thank you once again for joining us. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels and join our Telegram channels and also Download the Royal Scroll from the link showing on your screen. And don't forget to be part of the next excellent chat room by sending your questions and on any of the topics we have studied and also any other questions you have on these numbers showing on your screen. Goodbye, child of excellence. Remember to shine for Jesus. Go and conquer your world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.